Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah. All right, so Nomadic Fanatic, Eric here on the road. Not quite halfway through today's journey, but went up to Bellingham to talk with Chris Penn and um, came from Aberdeen. That's where I was at and that's where I left my RV. So I'm in some water now. Got to get all the way up to Bellingham and back. Three hour trip one way for me, so. <laughs> Plus the interview. It's sunny right now, but it rained like the entire way from Aberdeen, so. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but it should be fun. All right, well, looks like it's gonna be a really nice day after all. It's hot. <laughs> I have to take my sweater off. I'm going through DuPont right now. Yeah, what a nice day. I got uh, really shit-faced last night in Olympia. <laughs> and we had our usual clipper day down there for karaoke, and. This is the best night ever. There's so many people there. And uh, what I did was I brought my camera in and, and got Kelly to actually film all of us singing with, with this camera. You know, all, in the past, all I've used was my little camera phone. So <laughs> there might be some good video on this camera. I haven't checked it out. I can't even remember what I sang last night, but uh, there might be some good video. I'll have to check that out. <laughs> Lakewood, Washington. Exit 123 off I-5, and I've got to get to exit 250. Well, we're officially in Tacoma now, and um, you don't need any signs to tell you you've arrived here, because if you get in, even off the freeway, there is this distinct aroma. The aroma in Tacoma. It smells like raw sewage like it just smells like people just sh crap in the stew. see I, di I didn't say a bad word somebody somebody asked me not to cuss on my videos anymore like I switched that around to poop yeah oh we're in Fife now and coming up here in about a mile is gonna be Camping World my uh, my favorite stores oh, so we have this really odd law in Washington State. It's probably going to happen other places, but uh, they've banned talking on your cell phone while you're while you're driving. It's catching on in other states too, but but, but the law is, is so weird. So so this would be illegal. But this if I hold it out and talk, it's perfectly fine. I don't understand the, the difference. However, <laughs> about eight months ago, I got pulled over while I was talking on my phone. I, I was actually using the speakerphone like I always do, and I have the audio going through the speakers of my car. I was holding it like this, talking, blah, blah, blah. He pulled me over. I said, I gotta call you back. He ended up giving me a ticket, and I told him it was on speakerphone. He's like, yeah, well, the law states that if it's on speakerphone, it can't be in your hand. Well, two things. It either can't be in your hand, or if it is in your hand, it has to be extended out so that there's no bend in your elbow. I'm dead serious what he, what he told me. He, he wrote me a ticket, 101 bucks. I actually, um, I actually didn't get a ticket for talking on my phone. It, it, I ended up uh, getting a letter in the mail saying that like the counties weren't ready to actually enforce the law. So they had this like warning period, and so they're like, "We did, we dismissed your, uh, your 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 ticket, and it's the new effective date is blah blah blah." So I thought that was cool. That was literally going to be my first ticket ever in my life. And I was really bummed about that because um, I'm 32 years old. I'm 
never gotten a ticket in my life, ever. Speeding, parking violation. Well, I've gotten parking violations. But that's that's different. I've never gotten a, a traffic violation in my life. All right, we're getting into Kent, Kent Des Moines, and I don't think there's really anything in Kent. <laughs> All right, well, I'm officially in Seattle, although it doesn't look like it yet. Kind of got to get over this big hill. Ooh, there's the Rainier beer. I like the big R up there. It's cool. Too bad I can't see it, but Safeco Field and CenturyLink Field are off to my left. I don't know if you can see it from that view. But. Wow. That's really cool. Alright, we're in Alderwood now. So I ran that battery down, and um, which is fine because I still have two more batteries, but I'm going to do an interview with Chris, and it's like, well, I think I'd rather have all my batteries charged. So wasn't a problem. I just plugged in my charger to my uh, car adapter and well, you have three full batteries by the time I get up to Bellingham. So, all right, we're in Everett, Washington, way north. One one tip that I might be able to give you guys if you're interested in, in uh, filming yourself while you're driving, um, you've seen my setup with the big suction cup thing on the window with my camera. Um, <laughs> So, you know, you don't need all that. You don't need a lavalier microphone. A lot of people just grab their phone, keep one hand on the steering wheel, and just hold it out and film themselves talking. And that's, I guess, that's, that's perfectly fine if that, if that works for you and you're happy with that. But um, you have to, like, turn it on. You have to do all your recording. You have to hold it. There's all this extra step. I like this setup because it's just there and I'm doing my thing and I don't have to worry about it. However, um, I don't reach over and press record, stop, record, stop continually, you know, turn it on and off. I just let it roll. <laughs> and yes, it takes up a lot of memory, but uh, I just let it roll. And then when I think, when, I, when I'm getting ready to say something, or when I think I have something important to say, or if something important happens, I look at the counter on the screen right here, and it says two hours and 15 minutes. I uh, write that down on my, on my notepad. Okay, I just said something that I might want to put on my video. Okay, then 20 minutes are going to go by and nothing's, nothing's going to happen. And then you, you want to say something else. So you say what you have to say, and then you look at the counter, and you write down that time. So you basically have this little thing that keeps you organized so that when you play back three hours of freeway driving, you can easily skip ahead to the parts where you know you said something and you don't have to watch all this other crap going on. Just uh, a tip, you know. Of course, the other way of doing it is just to reach over and press stop and turn it off, you know, if, if that's what you want to do. It's up to you. Just saying. Just saying. Well, we're at exit 199. We're in Marysville. I'm in Arlington now. I'm in Mount Vernon now. Alright, well, I am about one mile away from my exit. Big sign that said Amtrak Greyhound Station. <laughs> I know I'm in the right spot. 